Holiday makers love to sightsee, and when the weather is fine, there is no better. Be careful, warned Edward. There's a storm coming. The island of Sodor had many visitors, and Sir Topham Hatt had scheduled more trains. Gordon. It was an important day in the yard. Everyone was. Hello, called Edward. That famous engine came through this morning. He whistled to me. Wasn't he kind? Take no notice, soothed Edward. He's just jealous. He thinks no engine should be famous but him. Look, he's coming now. No, these are for Gordon's Express. I'll fetch your freight cars next. James was snorting about in the yard, and Edward helped Thomas back to the junction. That's strange, said Edward. A car full of tar has been left at my station. That must be it. Driver will make sure it gets to Bertie now. He had important news for Edward. I'm going to be the star attraction, chatted Trevor. I'd like to help too, sighed Edward, but without my rails, I wouldn't be much good at a garden party. Edward was worried. I wish there was something I could do for the party, he said. I'd like to be helpful, like Trevor. You're helpful in your own way, and that's on the railway. Next day, it was Trevor's turn to look disappointed. He had bad news, but Edward had an idea. Don't worry, he said. Everything is going to be all right. The vicar can paste his posters on my cab and coaches, so wherever I go, they'll go too. Edward steamed happily through the stations, collecting his passengers. Look, they said, the vicar is holding a party. We must go to that. That evening, the vicar arrived to see Edward and his driver. Hundreds of people paid to come to the party. We've raised lots of money for the children. Edward was very pleased. You two never stop, do you? But I'm wise to your pranks, and we do need help here. And kind Edward lost patience. All this grumbling spreads bad atmosphere in the yard. You're quite right, and that's why I've come up with a plan. Then his driver told Sir Topham Hatt. Later, Gordon was taking on water from a standpipe because the water tower was there, but he thought the voice belonged to Gordon. One day, Edward was talking to Trevor when Douglas steamed by. Come on, Edward. Stop gossiping in the sun when there is work to be done. Later, Edward spoke to Douglas. Trevor and I are old friends, and you and he have a lot in common, too. Scrap, said Edward quietly. Does the same to Trevor, replied. He was being sent to the scrapyard, but the vicar and I saved him, and now he's really useful again. Even so, Sir Topham Hatt certainly does need another steam engine. Next day, he arrived with Edward. But you acted quickly and bravely in an emergency. The shed was silent. At last, Thomas spoke. Still, there was silence. So, said a voice, we're really useful engines after all. Friends woke the next morning. They could not believe their eyes. The sheds had been repainted and decorated. Engines whistled in delight, and everyone agreed that it was a really happy Thanksgiving. One day, Sir Topham Hatt sent Edward to the works to be mended. A big surprise awaited Edward. It's Scarloe. What's he doing here? I've been sent here for a rest, he sighed. I was put in this shed so that I could see everything and not be lonely. I wish I could be mended too and pull coaches again. Goodbye, Scarloe. Your railway's a lovely line. The next day, Reneus came home. All the engines were there to greet him. Edward pushed his truck to the siding, Everyone was happy, and Reneus was the happiest of all. By now, all the other engines were talking about Stepney. I hope you'll meet Thomas, too, said Edward. You both have branch lines to be proud of. That Soon they were whizzing through Edward's station. Came to say goodbye to Stepney. Silence, called Sir Topham Hatt. My mummy says there aren't any railway tracks to my house. Can you come to the station instead? Thank you very much. Hooray! Hooray! The engines whistled. 
Silence! Toby and Percy were each on a truck, and Duck had pushed them into place behind Edward. Gordon. The cavalcade puffed away. Later in the big city, all the engines were lined up in a splendid shed. The engines wondered who would pull the royal train. I'm too old to pull important trains, said Edward. Edward steamed in. Beep! The queen is here! Then to Edward. Meanwhile, Duck was waiting at Edward's station so that he could help the heavy train by pushing from behind. Next day, workmen found the broken tail lamp at the bottom of the hill. Sir Topham Hatt spoke kindly to Duck. They got me in a right pickle, didn't they? All this grumbling spreads bad atmosphere in the yard. 